guys. So today, what's good YouTube? Everything's going great today. Got to hit up Detroit, but first we gotta get our Mickey D's in. Hey. You know what I mean? We're going to Detroit, Michigan. You want a bite? Oh, I don't like McGriddles. You don't like them, really? I never had them. No, just try it. If you look around the area, it doesn't really look... We don't really know where we are. I can't exactly tell you where we are, but I can tell you where we're going is Detroit, Michigan. Um, be wondering why are we going to Detroit, Michigan? Because there's a lot of... We got nothing better to do. We got nothing better to do, and there's a lot of cool things. There's a lot of history to our city. We love Detroit. We love Detroit. Detroit, Michigan. The hometown of rappers Babytron, T, T Grizzly, and, and Eminem. In all seriousness though, Detroit has been in trouble for many years. When a lot of the auto jobs left the city, a lot of the people left the city too, leaving it to become mainly abandoned and filled with more ghettos in America than any other city. But despite that, there's still hope. The city has actually been making a turn for the better over the recent years, and a lot of people still call this place home. Including an individual by the name of Tyree Guyton, who was devastated by the amount of violent crime and poverty in his neighborhood. But unlike a lot of the people that were around him at the time, instead of picking up a gun, he picked up a paintbrush. And when his community went abandoned on Heidelberg Street on East Side Detroit, he decided to make something of it so it wouldn't be forgotten. And after over 30 years of working on a project in the projects, he has created one of the most interesting places that you can visit in America today, the Heidelberg Project. You should come with me to the end of the Man. Look over there. Over there. You know what that is, Ben? No, not the fountain. There's a fountain over there, though. No, that's Ontario, Canada. I don't know if that's Ontario. It is. That's. I'm pretty sure that's Ontario. Detroit's all the way over there, though. Ben, no. There's a couple points of interest that we're that we're reaching. Hey, bro. You see this? This is. That's basically harassment. He was looking at my ass. Look at that. This is what ADHD looks like. You see birds? I got birds. All right. Canadian flag. Shut up, bro. Yeah, we. I see it too with my bare eyes, bro. You don't need this shit to see that, bro. So right here, this is the Dawson Great Lakes Museum. It's it's a museum. Hey, yo, look at that dead fish in that bitch. That is a dead ass fish. Before we go into more places of interest, we decided to check this out. So we're gonna figure out what this is all about and. We're gonna do it, and there's Canada, so. We're gonna be doing a lot more journeys like this. I mean, the world is vast, and this is Detroit, Michigan is the definition of a collapsed rust built, rust, uh, hold on. Detroit, Michigan is the definition of a collapsed rust belt city. Before visiting the Heidelberg Project, we decided to visit the Dawson Great Lakes Museum, right on the waters between Detroit, Michigan and Ontario, Canada, one of the more peaceful areas in the city. Fast and the Furious. Fast and the Furious. That's me right over there. Yeah, that's me. I did that. So if you come up here, you can teleport. Dude, we're gonna be on a real life oh, boat. Oh, whoa! Fucking the bridge. Dude, I'm the fucking captain. Ben hadn't been a captain for a boat in almost 25 years, so we knew we were in danger, but we were willing to take the risk. Yo. All right, all right, captain. We're turning this boat around. You've been a bad boy. Let me drive the boat. Let's see what this stuff does. Ooh, a lever. Hold up. Let me pull the lever. Oh. After Ben blew up the ship, it was time to go to our main destination in Detroit, the Heidelberg Project, where we would meet Tyree Guyton, the creator of it. My name's Ben. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, man. When I saw that this was a clip, place here in Detroit, mm -hmm. piqued my interest immediately. Good to hear. Good to hear. Good in my ears. I don't even know what to say. It's, I love it. 
Well, I know what to say. Go to Jenny, your bunny hat. <laughs> Thank you. I remember way back, they had a Playboy club here. I used to love to go out and look at the bunny. Want you to walk around and take it in. <laughs> yeah, no, this is mm -hmm. very special. This is so it's life. What was that? So is life. Life? And then what you doing with it? Got a couple of degrees, and I grew up here, and I saw I was going to do something radical in my neighborhood. That's cool. Like to come to see the cat, look at the cat look around you this this is just something different you don't see it you don't see it everywhere and I was told to go to a basement so I was told to go to a basement just pray that I don't get kidnapped oh well there's the basement it's got an open roof I've never seen anything like this not in my home city of Columbus no when I when I explain to my people I'm going to Detroit by choice I don't have to but I'm going to Detroit it's a little bit different than just a getaway. It's more of just like one step closer to experiencing more of the world. And he's got a whole taxi, he's got a whole car up there. Yeah. There's a reoccurring theme with clocks and time and dates. Wonder what all that means. Yo, Zane, come back. What's up? They got homie in a cage. You got what? Homie in a cage. Hey, yo, they put, they put little homie in a cage. That's crazy. They put bro in a Hold up, move out the way. Are we going down that road too? The Heidelberg Project was a great example of making something out of a shitty situation. What do you what do you what do you think about Detroit so far? I mean, what do you think about two this? Two places and two places are not no animal pictures in Detroit. It's not all evil out here. Look, there's even more over there. Yeah. The truth about Detroit is there's a lot of talented people out here who just call this place home, and the place isn't so bad after. If you look at the TV, it says fake news. Trump shit news. Sex news. <laughs> Trump vote. shit news. Should we go vote? Oh yeah, let's go vote. I'm a voting American. This is easily one of the coolest places I've ever stepped step foot in. You have to really be here to understand how cool it is to just be here. I mean, we're in Detroit, Michigan. Oh, it's pretty cool. I like, I like the, like, look at this building. A lot of the houses look just like this. A lot of the houses look just like this. In the end of the day, I think it's a shame that Detroit turned out the way it did. Because there's a lot of cool people out here like Tyree. And there's a lot of people with real talent and skills that are never going to be seen by the rest of the world. Only few people make it out. And I think it's important to recognize shit like this because real talent and passion isn't so easy to find nowadays, man. Plus, it's really easy to go in the wrong direction in a city collapsing around you. But shit like this inspires me. I want to go see more. I want to see what else the world has to offer. So fuck it. I'm taking the channel with us. You know what I mean? Me and Ben... We're, we're doing it. We're gonna we're gonna do it. <laughs> and shout out shout out to PJ too. He he couldn't be here for some of these episodes. He's gonna he's gonna be here too. But just like Detroit and everywhere else in the world, there's always beauty behind the madness, and we found it today, huh? Somebody next, who's gonna be? Can't make no promises. Slide in the whip with the sunroof so my dog can hang out the top of it.